Good day everyone. So today we'll have your first lesson in block 9. So we'll start with the question, how many more apples and flowers did we need to draw? How many more apples and flowers did we need to draw? Very good. In apple, we need to draw one more apple because uh, there is one apple drawn on the screen. While in Lerby, we need to draw three more flowers because uh, there are three flowers drawn on the screen. What have you observed with the two objects. We have the apple and the flowers. Very good. In the left, we have one apple, and in the right, we have also one apple. While the flowers, we have three flowers in the left and three flowers on the right. So, what happens when we add two groups with the same number of objects? Let's have an example of group one. We have two flowers. And in group two, we have two flowers also. Okay, very good. When we add two groups with the same number of object or objects, it means we have to double the number of objects. So today we will learn about adding doubles. I want you to pause the video and write our aim for today in your math notebook. I want you to pause the video and write our aim for today in your math notebook. We are going to add doubles for the numbers 1 to 5 and write addition sentences in two ways. We are going to add doubles for the numbers 1 to 5 and write addition sentences in two ways. So let's proceed in our activity. So the first thing you need to do is to draw the ladybug. Second, count how many spots on one wings of the ladybug. The third is draw the same number of the spots on the other wing. The fourth, count the number of spots on both wings to find the total. And the fifth would be write the addition sentence in the two ways, side by side, that is horizontal addition sentence, and one below the other, that is the vertical addition sentence. So let's start with letter A. Let's have an example letter A. So as you can see here, we have a ladybug. How many spots do you see on the left wing? Okay, very good. Only one. So we need to draw one spot also on the other wings. Or the on the other wing. Okay. We're, we're done with drawing one spot. So we'll count how many spots in all in both, in both wings. One, two. So there are only two. Or if we are going to write this in addition sentence, we'll start with side by side. One plus one is equal to two. One below to other, one plus one is equal to two. So using the spots of our ladybug, we can identify what are the addition sentence we can use and identify the sum of it. Now it's your turn to answer B, C, D, and F in your math notebook i want you to pause the video and answer letter b c d and e in your math notebook
Time is up, so let's check your answers. So, letter B, there is two, two spots. So, we need to draw two spots also on the other wing. And we got the addition sentence 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and the other way of addition sentence. And let us see, we have three spots, so we need to draw three spots also. So we have 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. In letter D, we have four spots. We'll draw 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have 4 plus 4, if we will count all the spots we got, 8. And the last one in letter E, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to draw also 5 spots in other wings. So we got the addition sentence of 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Did you got the same answers? Very good. So, how do we add two numbers that are the same? So, always remember, we can add the numbers by showing them on, on our fingers or drawing objects the same as we did in the ladybug's spots. And count them all to know our total sum of objects or fingers so always remember when we are adding the same number or the same addends that is what we called adding doubles let's try more harder how will you add 4 plus 5 by adding doubles so we have here the addition sentence 4 plus 5 is equal to blank. So as you can see in our add-ins, 4 and 5 are different, right? So enable for us to add double, we can break our 5 into 4 plus 1. So now we can add the following in doubles. So 4 plus 4, that is 8. Plus 1, it's 9. Now that you know how to add doubles, I want you to answer your workbook in page 8. And do not forget to pass your work. in our Google Classroom. So that was it for today. God bless.